When using QuickTime, there are three different options to recording. There is new movie recording, new audio recording, and new screen recording. If you are self-recording, you may use new movie recording. Once you are done with the recording, click File, and then Save. Once the Save tab opens up, name your file whatever you would like, and also save it wherever your destination is. When using a phone to self-record, make sure it's near a well-lit area. Be sure to try to film yourself horizontally. When ready, click the record button. Always try recording at the highest quality possible and make sure you have enough space on your phone for your footage. And when finished, click the stop button. For Zoom, select Join with Computer Audio so that your audio when screen recording can be captured. Once your Zoom meeting begins, at the bottom of the panel, select Record. On the upper left-hand corner of the screen, it will also say Recording. Keep in mind that you also have the option to pause your recording and unpause it as well so you can capture the most important moments. Once you choose to stop your recording, there will be a message on the upper right-hand corner of your screen that says that the file will be converted after the meeting ends. Once you see the file is converted, rename it whatever you would like and save it to its destination. There are multiple ways for you to share these files. One way is through email. If you are using Dropbox, simply add in your file to the folder that it belongs to. Great, you're good to go.